Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Gen AI Vlog. So previous episode, we talked about this local stream lit application. We can run locally. We can also use dark container to build an image and test out that image using a web browser. But the server is still local. So we use dark container to push that image onto a Azure container instance. Now, Everything that we've been testing locally, it's on the cloud. So today we're going to be talking about how to build a web-based application that's backed by this container image. So now I can move this box, the right-hand side, and we can pretty much take care of the entire right-hand side using this episode. So with that being said, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is to create a web app. So let's come back to Microsoft Azure. Let's navigate to the app service. You can use this create button to create a new service. However, if you can't find it, you can go to the search box directly and type in web app. And if you press this web app button, it will take you to the create page directly. So let's click on that. Let's select the resource group and let's give a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it V2. And then here, you want to make sure you select container. And of course, as a habit, you always want to go with US East or US East 2. And then you can hit Next. When it comes to the container, you want to make sure that you select Azure Container Registry. And you can pre-build by selecting a particular image using the drop-down button. But for the sake of this episode, I'm just going to do a quick start because I want to show you guys how to navigate it in a resource area. So I'm going to skip that for now. And I'll skip the networking, because all that default is pretty much all good for me. Same with the tags. And I can hit Create. This will initialize the deployment. And as you can see here, the deployment is in progress. And it will create the resource for me. Once that's done, you're going to see this button here. So we're going to go to Resource. And this is the interface that you will be seeing. It's already up and running. If you click on this, it will say, hey, welcome to Nginx. But for now, there's nothing backing up this app. So this is just a default version. Let's close that. We're going to now back this app up using the container. So let's go to Deployment Center. I already added to my favorites here. If you can't find it, it's under the section Deployment. So click on that. And then the first question, make sure you select Container Registry. And then for the registry source, select Azure Container Registry. And for me, there's actually this authentication here. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of that in just a sec. For now, I want to make sure that I selected the correct image. So I want to make sure the registry is the one I want. In this case, it's template streamlit app v2. The image is what I want, hello world. And then the tag here is just v1 because we only pushed one version. And I can leave the rest untouched. This is pretty much all set. Now I can come back up here and press Save. And then this should not be bothering you. But if this bothers you, you can go to Configuration and take care of that authentication problem. So you can come down to Configuration. And then if you can't find it, it's under the Settings section. You want to turn on the SCM basic authentication. And you can leave the rest untouched. Press Save and continue, and you're all set. Now you can wait for the app to finish update. Once it finishes update, you can navigate up to Overview, and then click on the default domain, which is this URL here. You refresh it, you will see your Echo bot up and live on the website. And you can type in a couple of things, blah, blah, and it will repeat exactly what you said. And you can type in something else. Hi, John, how are you? And you will say, hi, John, how are you? So there you go. Now let's come back to this architecture diagram a little bit. So we start by talking about this local app. And once we have this local app built, we test it out using Docker. So this requires Docker desktop, requires you to use command line interface to build a Docker image and test out locally. Then we talked about how to create a container registry and push this Docker image 
onto the container registry. And then we talked about building a web-based application and back that up using the container registry that we just created. This will give us the Azure URL because there's an API management gateway behind it to manage that interface. And user can access that. And that's how the user see your app. So now that you get the idea, since all of this is designed and built using Python, you can come up with all sorts of creative things to build your own application backed by Python. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.